Over 3 years ago, the first game of the Super Mario Maker series was released on Wii U. This game has won a lot of fans for the ability to create your own levels with the well-known Plumber Mario. So it's hard to hide that after the great success of Nintendo Switch, everyone was waiting for the sequel. We've got Super Mario Maker on 3DS. But this version had no online sharing experience creating, sharing and playing levels created by other creators. What has always been the most important function of this series. Luckily, on the horizon appeared a glimmer of hope. Super Mario Maker 2 was officially announced, with new functionalities, new themes, story mode and full of new features. Is this a title for you? Or maybe you know it already and you cannot wait for it? Let's dig in in my review and find out more what awaits you. Story mode This is one thing that wasn't included in the original game. Maybe Nintendo decides to throw something fresh or build for gamers in between creators and players. But one thing is certain, you don't need to focus on the infinite saving the princess Peach. This time you have to work with Toad and Toadette on one task, rebuilding Peach's castle. Looks like a simple and boring task, but it isn't. Story mode is fulfilled by over 100 original levels designed by Nintendo. If you want to repair the castle, you need to complete those levels. Quickly go to Taskmaster Toad, who's happy to offer you a job. Every task guarantees you a payout, coins obviously. Remember to catch as many coins as you can in any of these levels. Of course, you can still replay them again and get those missing coins. Every course has a different difficulty level. You can expect more coins for completing the more difficult ones. When you earn enough coins to start repairs or to build another piece of castle, hand them over to Chief Toadette, who allows you to choose which section of the castle you can rebuild as next. Every new section of Peach's castle unlocks new levels and makes them available from Taskmaster Toad. Levels created by Nintendo looks incredibly good. I really enjoy them from visual and mechanic perspective. You can find simple levels where you have to go from point A to point B and collect just coins or you have to use new swing clothes to jump, find a key or keys, access different places, bring items that help you access another location and then you can finish your job task. Swinging, puzzle elements and more classic Mario levels mixed with some clever use. This is what you get in story mode. Do not worry, you will not get bored. If you enjoyed playing Super Mario Bros games, I would say that some of these levels can surprise you. Really, positively. First time player? No worries. Super Mario Maker 2 and Yamamura's Dojo got you covered. Yamamura's Dojo is a place where you can find a friendly pigeon named Yamamura. He's always happy to help you and show some basics or teach you how to control Mario. This is a nice touch and definitely will help newcomers. But if you already played Super Mario Maker, I don't think you'll find something for yourself in this place. Curse Maker If you're a creator, then Curse Maker is created for you. Unleash your creativity in this new toolkit for Super Mario level designer. This is a powerful toolkit with all assets available at your fingertips. In Super Mario Maker 2 you have access to every item from the very beginning, unlike the original game. Finally, you can start creating your levels without any restrictions. Super Mario Maker 2 offers more than all from the very beginning. There are new elements too, like slopes, day and night, clear conditions, new teams, angry sun, and much more. All of this opens you new opportunities to control your game experience. There is a lot of new stuff, even UI has been refreshed, where everything has been divided into categories with quick access to individual elements. Besides, when it comes to the mechanics of creating levels in itself, not much has changed. However, one drawback can be found. Handheld mode is your best friend. Create interface and control with a gamepad feels clumsy. It takes some time to get used to it, but still it's not the same as the handheld mode or Wii U experience. Remember that still you can buy some cheap stylus and improve your game experience like in the original game. Some most significant changes in Super Mario Maker 2 apply to custom scroll option, which provides you more control over your level. Next one is slopes. I'm not able to determine how long I've been waiting for it. Slopes works wonderfully. What can I say more about them? There are slopes and you have a lot of possibilities how you can use them. 
Swinging Claw. Mm, another interesting item. With the help of this one, you can create some evil levels. And there is a thousand, I'm telling you, thousands of opportunities you can use them to achieve some interesting effect. Let's say your player is not expecting something like exit from the pipe and land. Yes, exactly. Where? Maybe on some floating cloud or directly in the claws. Just avoid opponents and to swing until the goal line. Clever and evil. Maybe you have a different idea on how to use it. Next big change in a game is 3D world style. This new style is full of unique features like Cat Mario, long jumps, flips and flops, clear pipes, blink blocks, Koopa Troopa car and enemies who attack you from the background. Very nice. Wow, so many new stuff. All of this available for creators. This is a big change in Mario Maker game and all of these features will bring a nice twist to your newly created levels. Remember just one. 3D World is a separate game style. You cannot convert your 2D World into 3D World. An attempt, attempt on swapping your 2D level to 3D level wipes entirely all of your work. But no worries, because before that the game will inform you about this with big message box and question if you want to erase everything and start again with the chosen style. There is one thing. Okay, well, few things are missing in a 3D World. There are no vines. You cannot stack enemies one on top of each other like in a 2D game, 2D World 2. The lack of these elements does not cause the creation of the level to suffer, however you stay under impression that something is missing. As the last I left clear condition feature. This is something totally new and deserves extra work. You can choose if you want to set more extra options which is required to complete the level. For example you can say uh, reach the goal without taking any damage. No one will be able to finish the level if they took any damage in this level. A flag will not be available and a specific message will be shown to the user when, they, when this reach a final destination. However, we can find one limit here. You can set only one condition rule per level. Plus, all of them are exactly the same for each game style. O okay, there are a few changes. Curse World. The game also has to offer Curse World, a dedicated place to share created levels with the rest of the world. We have here features like leaderboards, endless challenge, network play, and plays for your avatar. Something like Miiverse if available in old Wii U game. You can change outfit for your character. You will be given new pieces for unlocking new achievements, some for uploading the first level or playing the first level created by another user. However, the game does not have support for Amiibo. Unfortunately, you cannot unlock new costumes using your feeder collection. Maker profile in Mario Maker 2 feels richer than in the original game. We have stats like Maker points, medals, versus rating, information about uploaded courses, like courses, played courses, and some of your world records. Definitely, this should keep players coming back more often to online feature, both creators and players. Endless challenge is similar to one we know from Wii U. Basically, this feature offers a limited number of lives and challenge you to play without losing your last life. Whose levels you have to play? Of course, created by other users. I spent a lot of time with Super Mario Maker 2. This is an incredible sequel with tons of new features, great and funny story mode. For someone like me who likes to create and play, this is the best sequel we could receive. Certainly many players will come back because Super Mario Maker has a strong community full of creators and players. We have to remember that Super Mario Maker 2 isn't just a game. This is a tool that allows you to unleash your creativity and for a second be a level designer. Story mode is a great addition that fulfills all of your needs, plus thousands of courses that are coming from other creators. You don't need creative mind to enjoy it almost unlimited levels. So based on my time with the game and after summing up the pros and cons, I'm happy to give it 9.5. This is really amazing game and I would like to recommend it to everyone. I hope you enjoyed this review, if yes I will be happy if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Also let me know in the comment section what you think about Super Mario Maker 2. Also feel free to share your creations and hope to see some really epic levels this weekend. Thank you.